Hey there, race fans. Welcome. You may notice a few things that are slightly different from the last video I did. Uh, my beard's been trimmed a little bit, I shaved my head, and we changed logos. Well, I, we changed logos. Well, um, we are, uh, and I say we, uh, Rob Cottle and I are actually, uh, we got invited to participate in an iRacing Team Endurance Series. It's sponsored by Champion Motorsports. And we are um, driving an LMP2 car. Just kind of interesting. Um, so we're one of those guys today. <laughs> Thus the the villain shirt, I think. Someone who shall remain nameless. It's involved in PCA sim racing. Um, sent uh, sent me a PM um, in uh, Discord asking if I might be interested in this. And I'm always looking for new opportunities to drive and terrify myself. And uh, LMP2 definitely fits that bill. As I've learned driving this car around Sebring, which is where we're going to be racing today in a two and a half hour race. Uh, I, I've learned that the LMP2 drivers aren't the jerks that we all think they are when we're in a GT car <laughs> driving around and they whip around us. Um, they rely on downforce to get through corners, and sometimes a slow GTE car just puts them in peril um, as much as anything else. So it's 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 going to be a fun race. We should uh, we should have a little bit of fun today um, and uh, try to be patient. Try to recognize uh, that we're the faster car and uh, be. <laughs> be gentle in terms of how we go about passing the slower cars. Uh, this is the second race in this series. Uh, we did we missed the first race. We weren't invited until after uh, it had concluded. That was at Daytona. Um, and there'll be, I think, uh, three or four additional races that are once a month. So there'll be the next one in at late March, March 21st, I believe. Um, so um, we are going to continue to do this and continue to get better as we go through and uh, hopefully uh, make some new friends along the way. So sit back, enjoy. Uh, you'll hear when I'm not driving, um, Rob and I will be talking and I'll be directing traffic and uh, discussing strategy with him. When I'm driving, he'll be doing the same for me and uh, should be a lot of fun. Also included Rob's picture. So you'll see Rob, a picture of Rob. He does not have a camera on um, that I can broadcast. So I'm going to be recording my live picture. I'll keep that up and running. Um, but uh, there's a picture of Rob with his name on it. So you know who's driving and who's talking. Let's get going. The track temps increasing. It's now 82 Fahrenheit. Pit exit's clear. Pit okay, exit's clear. Don't cross three. that white line. Job done, mate. Okay, here we go. Rob gonna qualify. Let's see what we can do here. The reason why Rob is qualifying is that the two so much He's the faster of the us. Makes sense, actually. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 82 Fahrenheit. And that rear end wants to come around. Yep. Deep breath, man. Nice and steady. Relax. At peace. Doesn't matter. All for nothing. Just go out and have fun.
Jesus. Steady, come on. Uh, go. Tenth position. Okay, we've got a qualifying time, so now it's all for fun. Chip, 10 minutes to go, that's 10 minutes left. B11, that puts you 3.4 seconds off the pace. Nice lap, Rob. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I got one good one in. Too many mistakes. Tried too hard. Yeah, but I mean, you you got us in. I mean, it's uh, 
we, we qualified last in our class, but it's a respectable last. It was a, a good time you threw up, so uh, I'm not at all worried about it. It uh, puts less pressure on us coming into the race. You can do the first couple of laps at your whatever pace you need to and let Carnage ensue in front of us, and we'll pick up the pieces as we go through. Reset the fuel, please. Sounds like a plan. Oh, and we have a fast repair. That's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and become a crew chief and uncheck our fast repair so it doesn't accidentally do that for us if we don't want it to. Sounds good. I'll leave that up to you. I also unchecked all four tires, so we'll make that rubber change as we discussed, unless there's a reason after for your first stint to do otherwise. Copy that. Go, nail it. One gallon remaining. And remember, there is an orange zone in effect. Got that on the orange zone. Incident in Christensen. We think it might be Tammy. Yellow flag. That was below average. Yeah, that was not your fault either. There's an incident in the hairpin. Nice start, mate. Well done. Nice and easy. Thread the needle. Incident in tower. Yellow flag, watch out. Oh wow, Liam, Reese, this is in front of me. How's the car feel after that 4X? Is the uh, nose damaged? Aero problems? Don't notice anything. Feels okay. Yeah, we may not see it until we see top top uh, speed. Fourteen. There's an incident in tower.
Come on, Chip. Good stuff. Keep it coming. Assuming he has damage, he let you go pretty easy. Over ten. Yeah, oh, he's we're almost banged up. B13, you've just done a 153.56. Does the car look all right? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything discernible uh, in terms of damage. Um, let me actually take a look at the nose real quick. Uh, Tammy, it's getting closer. The gap's come down to 4.1. Yeah, I can't see any visible damage. That doesn't mean it's not there. It just means that uh, the app isn't recording it, but it looks fine. I didn't hit him very hard. Yeah, it looked like you got woed up pretty well, and everybody behind you managed to not hit you, which I found minorly miraculous. They wadded themselves up in the corner on the right-hand side of the track there, but they didn't hit you, which is, is good. That's a new fastest lap for Williams, 147.10. Yeah, it would have been worse to get hit by a GT car. For sure. And I, I apologize. Uh, I probably should have called out go left because um, I think that there was a hole there for a second. But after you got there, it was blocked completely. It all happened so fast that it didn't really matter. Well, I wanted to try to avoid Jim screaming in your ear at the same time I was, so... <clears throat> Looks like John Taylor has some speed. All right, Chip. Don't be intimidated by this little shit. Make him work for it. I'm just going to let him go. Copy that. Good plan. God, don't panic. We'll get him back. Jim didn't agree. Well, Jim's not always right. And he was the guy that got turned around, I think. Yeah, I think so. He was my, one of the faster guys. He's running 147, so he's no slouch. So Tammy ahead is increasing. It's now 2.2 seconds. Come on, man, stop fucking it up. P14. Your lap time was at 153.11. Man, Jim is mean. He just said some nasty things about you in my ear. Kind of a prick. <laughs> he really is.
that lap time was 151.70. That's your quickest lap in this session. How's the car feel? Fine. Cool. Well, they say no man is an island, but you are kind of on an island all unto yourself right now. Uh, the GT cars are about 18 seconds behind you, and uh, Tammy is moving up. He's like the seven seconds. Tammy seven. ahead is increasing. It's ahead now 6.6. And you're uh, three seconds faster a lap than the guy behind you and three seconds slower than the guy in front of you. So just keep doing what you're doing and uh, we'll have a nice quiet race. Until we don't. Copy that. I am driving very conservatively because I don't want to go off. Good plan. Good plan. Sector 3 is 1.2, off the pace. There's an incident in the hairpin. slower class car. The gap to Tammy ahead is increasing. It's now 9.1. That wasn't very graceful. Yeah, yeah, it kind of waited on him to decide what he was going to do. <laughs> it was kind of rough. We were both waiting for each other. That was much better. Yeah, if I'm going to pass under braking, I need to be more decisive. Strangely, for me, it's actually about trusting the car under braking as to whether or not I can do that aggressively or not. Like, I would be e have an easier time in the cup car than I would this car at this point. Yeah, me too. Sector 1 is 1.6 seconds off the pace. The gap to Tammy ahead is increasing. It's now 14 seconds.
Okay, Jip, the next car is Tammy. Your lap time was 151.10. Looks like you got about 14 laps of fuel left. The track temperature is increasing. It's now 89 Fahrenheit. Means we should be pushing closer to 23 laps on total fuel load, um, given given how you're driving right now. So that's actually good good for us. Yeah, an extra lap might make a difference. Guessing by the lap times right now, it looks like the top 13, five. The gap to Tammy ahead is now 18 seconds. Slowing down a bit, are they? Just a hair. Not a lot, but enough to be noticeable. And uh, P1 is about a half a lap behind you. Or ahead of you, depending upon how you look at it. That didn't take very long. Andrew. Yeah, it just means mathematically we're likely to be dealing with uh, blue flags before your pit stop. Make me feel like I'm at home. Copy that. Sector 2 is 1.2 seconds off the pace. Slower class car ahead. You're driving well, man. Nice and steady. It's really good. Thank you, sir.
Got a cluster of GT cars uh, coming up in about 15 seconds or so. And uh, that seemed to slow down uh, the car that's ahead of you competitively wise uh, quite a bit. So be careful, cautious going through them. Copy that. Your lap times are improving. It looks like it's a tight little competitive cluster for 12th through 14th in uh, GT. Copy. There's an incident in Le Mans. Slower class car ahead, fastest lap for Williams, 147.04. That was a little dangerous. I grimaced, but I wasn't going to say anything. I thought he was going to leave me more room, to be honest. He kind of slammed the door on me a little bit. Yeah, he's, uh... In 18th position, so he's actually a lap down in for the guys he's running with here that you're coming into. Okay, Chip. Slower cars ahead. These guys will be fighting for position. They might not see you. So here's your racing cluster. What a cluster it is. They've got good gaps between them now that weren't existent uh, a couple of laps ago, so this is good. Sector one is 3.4 seconds off the pace. Overton's getting closer. The gap's now 19 seconds. They're faster than us in two. Christensen.
coming up on a slower class car. Nicely done, Rob. Sector 2 is 2.3 seconds. Off the pace. Looks like I've got this to look forward to for the next little while. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Probably in another lap or lap and a half you'll catch the next group. Sector 1 is 1.8, off the pace. Car in front is pitting. Got pit stops starting already. That's interesting. There's an incident in turn five. It looks like it's Andrew. Seems early. B12. Maybe he had to pee. Very possible. Coming up on the 30 minute mark, how you feeling? Good. Right on, we got uh, about six and a half laps left. Coming up on a slower car. And uh, that's putting us right on the bubble for 22 laps. So you're doing right as we predicted. Overton is closing in. The gap is now 15 seconds. A bit quicker than us entering tower. Looks like Overton behind you found the uh, accelerator. He's uh, Sector two is on 1.6. On Off the pace. 15 seconds back. Copy that. Could also be the traffic a little bit. Copy that. P11. Slower class car ahead.
Yeah, that pit, it looks like it was for damage on TNT racing car. Scratch that wildfire and penguin. Uh, now in 15th and 16th, and they've been in the pits for a good chunk of time, as has TNT Racing. Starting to find the sharper end of the GT field. They're a little tougher. Yeah, he uh, locked up his tires behind you, trying to keep out of you, so that was uh, exciting. I don't think I squeezed him at all. No, I, don't, I just don't think he accounted for you fully and where he braked. He was probably paying attention to you and not his braking point. among us. Over attempts, closing the gap. It's now 12 seconds. Slower class car ahead. You're quicker than you, entering Christensen. You probably now see P1 popping up on your relative uh, screen, or will soon. He's about uh, 14 seconds behind you now. Sector 1 is 1.8 off the pace. Copy that. There's a group of slower cars ahead. These guys are busy fighting each other. I had some pucker factor. Man, those GT cars accelerate so fast. You're well done, by the way. That was great. Glad I have good grip. I would have eaten it. Lower class car ahead. I got later eight. Okay, Chip. The back. next car is Andrew. I didn't copy that. What was that? Leaders closed on me eight seconds back. Incident in Cunningham. So much for GT traffic slowing him down, I guess. Yellow flag. You're approaching some slower cars. These guys are fighting for position. Looks like P8 uh, pitted on lap 19. Overtemp is gaining on you. The gap's now 8.0. They're quicker than us entering Christensen. P1 
the 11. Sector 3 is 2.1 seconds off the pace. You're coming up on a slower car. It looks like it may have been a driver change. It was a 55 second stop. P10 did the same thing. Sector 1 is 2.0, off the pace. Wonder why they're doing that. Maybe they're burning richer than we are somehow. Maybe uh, they've got more downforce and are dragging a little bit more or something. I don't know. Or they don't like the way the car feels when it runs dry. A few others in the same boat doing their changes. Who'd want to drive a car that's all light and grippy? Looks like you have about two laps left in the tank this time by. There's a car leaving the pits. Copy that. P9. Tires still feel good? Yeah, they seem fine. Okay, then we'll do what we planned. You come in, get a full tank, and uh, go right back out on the same set of tires. I'm not doing fast repair, not changing tires. Copy. I think I probably should come in. It's really tight. I was just uh, looking at the same thing. I hear you. Blue flag. I'm coming in. All right, Chip. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. The pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. We don't have the data. The hell was that? The guy hit me going into pit lane. Yeah, he, he wasn't expecting you to slow down quite that hard that quick. 300 feet. 100 feet. I can see how he might have thought that, what it being all pit lane and the speed limit and everything. You turned off quick repair, right? I certainly did. Yes, I did. No tires, no quick repair. So you got the same car you had coming in. Except now you've got used tires and a full load. And remember, they have cooled off just a hair. Watch your mirrors. There's a car approaching. Nice and gentle. At least for the first lap or two.
where that full fuel tank sure feels different. Yep, for sure. So you're in 12th place after pit stop, so that is not horrible. It's four up from where we started. I'll take it. Your best lap so far was a uh, 150.96. a little bit to get used to the heavier car. Yeah, I can imagine. Also, too, it's uh, if you push too hard, it's harder on the tires, too. So, like I said, okay. nice and blue easy. Flag. Car coming up, uh, blue flag. All right, Chip, keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us, P12. This will be the P2 car in our class. Shit. Blue flag. It's okay, man. You're good. I was going to choke and say you probably didn't need to give him that much room, but it was probably too soon, so I kept my mouth shut. Blue flag. Would have been funny. <laughs> God, my breaking points are all off. You'll find it nice and easy. The gap behind has now decreased to 2.5 seconds. They're faster than us into the hairpin. The used tires and heavy fuel sure makes a difference. P13. Sector 3 is 1.3 seconds off the pace. The good news is we'll get better at this as time goes on. This is our first race in this class of car at this track for this long, so let's not beat ourselves up too much. Copy that. Think happy thoughts.
probably good to just let Douglas go if you can. Yeah, I probably will. He pitted same lap as us and was in for about 22 seconds longer than us. That was nice of me to let him catch back up. I hate to see our competitors get demoralized. Well, that's what we are. We're, we're the uh, morale uplifters of the group. I'm a giver. Blue flag. <laughs> Use all the track. Force him to find the gap. Coming up on a slower class car. There's an incident in Cunningham. We think it might be Andrew. Blue flag. Fourteenth. What's going on, mate? Come on, get your act together. Blue flag. Guy behind is a flashy thinger. <clears throat> Blue flag. Sector one is 2.6 seconds off the pace. Those are the guys that I actually have a difficult time with. The gap in go. front is increasing. Is it it's now 2.1 seconds. It, don't flash me. Quiet on the comms, please. Thank you. was interesting. Somehow my comms got flipped to all teams accidentally, and I don't know how. Yeah, I didn't hear you say anything. Thirteen. Coming up on a slower class car. Sector 1 is 2.2 seconds off the pace. <laughs> Blue 
The gap ahead is now 1.7. Slower class car ahead. Sector 1 is 1.7 off the pace. flag. The gap in front is now 4.6. Slower class car ahead. Sector 1 is 3.1 off the pace. Hey Rob, I'm going to uh, open up a channel in Discord on our chat channel, our our one-on-one -on -one chat channel, so that when you come into the pits, you can jump on as well. So we'll do our team chat via Discord. I don't want to have that accidentally happening while I'm driving as well. I don't know what happened, but I transferred the all teams channel in my in my comms. The track temperature is rising. It's now 97 okay, Fahrenheit. Fine. Since you're calling me, Chip, hang up. Done. We'll do that transfer when we switch into uh, uh, the pits. So don't worry about it for now.
Copy that. The captain the front is now at 10.9. Copy that. Was not aware that it would cause the death. Place. Difficulty on your end. Sorry about that. I'm very sensitive, Chip. I'm aware. Well, you need to be paying more attention to that. Slower class car ahead. I just might put it off the track. Is 2.2 .2. off the pace. There's an incident in Christensen. Yellow flag, caution. Okay, Chip, you're approaching some slower cars. These guys are fighting for position. flag. Blue flag. The gap ahead is now 9.8. That looks stupid. That was rough, but I mean, nothing you could do there. Blue flag. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Copy that. Sector 2 is 1.5, off the pace.
coming up on a slower class car. The gap in front is now 14 seconds. Okay, I'm back. The gap in front Welcome is now back. at 16 seconds. I miss anything good? I didn't go off the track, that's good. Congratulations. You're coming up on a slower car. Yes. On behalf of the team, thank you for doing the bare minimum. Sector 1 is 2.3 seconds, off the pace. There's a bit of a zen sort of zone you get in after driving a lot of laps. True that. You know, if we could run the GT class in this P2 car, I think we'd have a good shot. <laughs> I was thinking that yesterday. <laughs> Slower car ahead. It's their class leader. This guy's definitely fast. You're coming upon some slower cars, including their class leader.
coming up on a slower class car. <laughs> Sector 3 is 0.9 off the pace. Tires are getting a little slippy. You got uh, about eight laps to go in this fuel tank, so if at any point you feel like you need to bring it in sooner rather than later, um, just let me know. Give me a lap or so, heads up. Slower class car ahead. Copy. I think I'm fine. Sector 1 is 2.6, off the pace. It's like the number 11 car had a terminal issue. He uh, just does, showed up as out on my uh, scoring. Is he in our class? Yeah, that was uh, at one point. Well, now he's not showing up as out. That's weird. He was in the pits. So he's uh, six places down from where he started in P9. I mean, Ellie, that was a data glitch, my bad, sorry. Incident in Gen Debian.
probably a uh, driver change. That's why it showed up on my screen as out. So it was a, the driver change piece. Yellow flag, watch out. Five more laps this time by. Copy that. Sector 1 is 1.6 seconds off the pace. Tires are probably a little uh, slippery because it's 100 degrees track temperature right now. Yeah, you want to be really careful when you're on cold tires and full tanks. Copy that. <coughs> the track temps increasing. It's now one hundred and one Fahrenheit. on some slower cars. These guys are busy fighting, they might not notice you. Slower class car ahead. Blue flag.
Sector 1 is 2.0 seconds. Off the pace. Blue flag. Slower class cars ahead. Sector 2 is 1.3 seconds off the pace. There's an incident in turn five. Blue flag. Torres behind is pitting now. Blue flag. Blue flag. It's one more lap. The leader, Williams, is pitting. I've turned off fast repair. I have uh, checked all the tires so they get changed and a full fuel load. Slower class car ahead. Copy that. Boxing this lap. Boxing. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Watch your speed.
gauge the limiter. Box in 940 feet. We don't have enough data for that. <coughs> 300 feet. <coughs> 100 feet. So I'm on uh, Foxcoms on Discord. Are you there? Yeah, can you hear me? Yep, I can. Yeah. So, give yourself. I'd give yourself an extra cone or two. Well, an extra cone uh, on your brake points while the car's still heavy and your tires are cold. That was a mistake I made. So, give yourself plenty of. Plenty of uh, space. To, takes about three laps for the tires to get up. Copy that. Oh, I'm gonna run for. What was that, Chip? Yep. I got the OK go. There's traffic behind. Keep your wits about you. Yeah. Hey, I'm taking a bio break. Slow across right car ahead. Blue flag. Hutchinson is getting closer. The gap's now 19 seconds. Quicker than you entering sunset. Blue flag.
God damn it all. I can't hear you on Discord. I'm not hearing you through the high racing either. Oh, I should maybe put my uh, mic down where my face is. I'm having a rough go of it so far. Well, just settle down. We've got plenty of time. All of our competition is a lap before more on, down. Mistakes. Just Concentrate. V14. Put in laps. You don't even have to be super fast. That's comforting. Just give yourself extra room to break. That's what I had to do. That's what screwed me up when I went back out on the second stand. Blue flag, the gap to Hutchinson ahead is increasing. It's now 9.3 seconds. What a nice place to spin. Coming up on a slower class car. Another lap or so, your tires should be warmer. But just be careful getting on the gas. Hey, that one I kind of heard. Fucking clown show. Sorry, man. Don't apologize, just drive. Okay, Chip, we'll need to pit for refueling. Zero tenths into the race. What would Fisbo do? Nice and smooth. Just get back on the gas pump through those sweeping corners is, a, is tricky, so I always wait until I'm sure that I'm all the way turned in before I get back on. P15. Given up two places since I took over the car, so that's always encouraging. You 
still got plenty of time and remember everybody else has the same issues they have to they have to fight mistakes just like we do I've got a little bit of a video stutter problem um, in iRacing as well, I think because of my recording. Usually if a recording goes longer than an hour, it starts to behave strangely. Uh, you blinked out a couple of times when you went off a minute ago. The actor over temp ahead is increasing. It's now 9.7 seconds. Temperature is increasing. It's now 105 Fahrenheit. That was a hard one. That looked bad. Can you confirm that you're all right? Please check. Blue flag. Damn it all. Come in and get Show us the meatball flag. We'll need to come in for repairs. Yeah, I've got a meatball. If I go to spotter, I can turn on the uh, fast repair, right? Uh, actually, if you open up black box, there's a little thing that says crew chief. Click on crew chief, and then yeah, you can turn on fast repair. Got it. Blue flag. Let's top off the gas while we're at it. Look out for the pit speed limit. Box in 950 feet. We haven't got that data. Absolute freaking disaster. That was an Just off that I haven't breath. had in a while. I mean, that, that was one that I certainly knew. I haven't gone off there before. Do we want to put tires feet. in or should we just keep tires on? Keep tires on. Well, fast repair will repair all that. I am topping off your fuel though. Okay. Well, there's our fast repair done. Well, that was our mulligan. There's traffic just behind. Be Watch your mirrors. Be, be smooth and just just put in laps. That's all you got to do. Don't worry about where you are on the track in terms of position. Just put in laps. You're coming up on a slower car. Blue flag. Incident in Cunningham. Incident in Turn 1. It looks like Hutchinson. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. There's an incident in Collier. Okay, Chip, you're coming up on some slower cars. These guys are busy fighting, they might not notice you. That was lame. There's an incident in turn one. It looks like it's Hutchinson. Yeah, he could have given you flag. He had plenty of room, he didn't need to do that. Oh no, it was lame on me. Incident in Christensen. We think it might be Hutchinson. Blue flag. The driver in front of us is Hutchinson.
an incident in the hairpin. Blue flag. There's an incident in Fangio Chicane. That was interesting. If it can get a little hairy. There's an incident in the hairpin, 15th place. There's an incident in Cunningham. Yellow flag, caution. Seems like lots more folks are going off the track. I think it's because it's getting ho hotter and slicker. That, I think the B team is playing. <laughs> For most of the teams. I don't think I'm the only uh, weak link that's on track right now. You're not the weak link. <laughs> I am today. I'll own that. There's still time for you to atone. Almost a disaster. Almost disasters don't count. You need to see the sunny side and say, that was a great save. <laughs> I think you can only take credit for a save if you actually consciously made efforts to save it. I think if it just sort of happens because you accidentally didn't hit the curb as hard as you could have, that doesn't count. Oh, Chip, you have so much to learn. That's one of those cases where you'd say, I meant to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Look on my face on video would tell this true story, though. Well, I'll, I'll watch the TV program afterwards. so damn flat that it's so easy to forget kind of where you are for a second. Maybe it's just me. So no, I, I get it. Sometimes I have to 
I find myself daydreaming a little bit. That was a good lap. Thanks. Relatively speaking. Hey, I wasn't doing much better than 52s in my last stint because it's just too damn hot. Five has been to end cutting up. We think P5 has been to end Collier. Incident in the hairpin looks like it's Overton. There's an incident in Gen Debian. God damn it. Blue flag. Coming up on a slower class car. Too be careful for mandatory uh, penalty for uh, incidents. Uh, actually, it's three. It says we got 23. Actually, you can go to 26, I guess. Well, let's not try to get it here. Jesus Christ. Blue flag. Use the force chip. I was feeling it for just a second, and then it went away. You were in a group, but if you put wheels off, just let it coast and let it get back on. Blue flag. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Just let it roll. Slower class car ahead. Business being out here, Rob. This is fucking stupid. Just calm down. We need to learn how to do this. I mean, this is part of it. Yeah, but I feel like I'm a liability. Yeah, but you can't keep thinking that way. It's just, if you lose your confidence, it's just gonna compound. True. I'm holding up a GT car. This is just fucking stupid. Just get back in your rhythm, you'll be fine. We both have day jobs. Our house payments aren't dependent on this race.
So where's he going? Nobody knows. Didn't look that weird from the blimp. Slower cars ahead. These guys are scrapping for position. They might not see you. Just take it corner by corner. Don't think about position or anything else. Just hit your marks. Three cars in our class on the lead lap. Sector three is 2.6 seconds off the pace. Be nice and patient with the GT traffic just pass when, when it works for you. Don't force it. Yeah. Thank you. If you say the code word Kimmy, I'll shut up because that means it'll be stop talking to me. I know what I'm doing. I'm good. These guys are in a race, so I don't want to disrupt it too much. That's a good call. Just get up close to them so you can get, take, take them on the straightaway. Guy on the other straight away. No, I won't. Yeah, take him on the inside. He has to. He has to go way outside. No, I almost lost the rear end. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I'm <laughs> glad you didn't. Now I'm holding up this guy that I passed was what I was afraid of. You get this other guy on this next straightaway. Just be cool, you'll be fine. Fuck me. I'll black flag, we'll need to come into the pits to serve it. Sit over here for a second. We got a black flag. God damn it. Bring her on in. You're good. Just, it's a drive through I'll make sure to turn off everything. Slower class car ahead. You've got three laps to serve this penalty. The track temperature's rising. It's now 109 Fahrenheit. Hey, thanks for calling the drive through I don't want to stop if it's a drive through And I didn't see that initially. 
damn it all. You might want to double check your display, but I thought I heard him say drive through. Yeah, it does say drive through. I verified it after you said it. Copy that. Stupid. Like I said, I, I'm a weak link. I own it. You're worrying too much about what other people think, man. <laughs> you know what they say about people who can't take a joke. Look out for the pit speed limit. <laughs> Box in 950 feet. We haven't got that data. Drive through, drive through, drive through. Don't stop. 300 feet. Hi, Jim. Nice to see you. 100 feet. I've never done a drive through. I wonder if he bitches you out. Car approaching. Watch your mirrors. Blue flag. My stutter problem's getting worse. Blue flag. Slower car ahead. This guy's their class leader. He won't see the blue flag because he's racing us for position. Hutchinson is reeling you in. The gap's now 4.4 seconds. They're quicker than us entering Christensen. There's somebody behind me? That's crazy. I was just told that somebody's reeling me in. Yeah, the car ahead's Hutchinson is. You got a, got a lead car coming up on you. 1.3 behind you and then Hutchinson's four and a half back. So just drive your race. That's just exciting. Still likes you, Chip. <laughs> yeah, so you say. Yes, that's right. Use your hate. Come over to the dark side. Feel your power. God damn it. I may need, uh... Yeah, my client is, like, stuttering horribly. Blue, right? blue flag. Uh, only oh, every once in a while, but not very much. It's not good that I'm blinking at all. It means my CPU is completely bound. Why well, you tell me what you want to do? I don't want to stop driving, but I, I think I'm a liability out here, the way my client is jumping around. Well, if you want to bring it in, we can top it off and I'll just drive it to the end. Yeah, let's do that. The gap to Hutchinson ahead is increasing. It's now 10 seconds. Copy that. Blue flag. Last thing I want to do is to cause somebody else some pain simply because my screen actually stops for a second. Fair enough. 
have already cost us enough money. Here I come. Copy that. I'm just going to do what just fuel in only, no tires. Box in 940 feet. We haven't got that data. So fucked up. 300 feet. 100 feet. Okay. I'm getting out. One gallon remaining. All right, Chip. We're running on fumes, mate. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Box this lap. I'm really not sure why my CPU is so bound up, but it is pegged. No worries. I'm betting it has something to do with the size of the video file that I'm recording. I'll have to figure out a solution for that. There's a car approaching. Watch your mirrors. Stay behind the white line. Slow car ahead. We're on the same lap, so they'll get no blue flag. Yeah, my CPU meter is completely pegged. The leader, darling, is pitting. Just turn it off for just a second. Your last. Coming up on a slower car. How's the car feel? Fine. Good news is there's only 30 minutes left. Yeah, I think we're going to have to forego recording these moving forward. My machine's just not keeping up the recording. And that's exactly what the problem is. We'll keep this recording going. We'll record it for posterity, but... Um, have to figure out a different solution if we do this in the future. Because that was what was catching me out, is everything was happening about a millisecond behind when it was actually happening. 
that would do it. Yeah, that, and that's, I didn't even look up and look at my CPU load until I, it was almost undrivable. A slower class car, sector one is 2.2, .2. off the pace. <laughs> Slower class car ahead. Blue flag. Blue flag. Sector 3 is 1.9, off the pace. Definitely owe you a bill, a beer for holding my end of the rope, man. Thank you. No worries. Blue flag.
can't talk and drive at the same time, apparently. <laughs> Just realized I wasn't watching you live. I'm starting to get stutters in my replay, too. Hutchinson ahead is pitting. That's 20 minutes to go. Coming up on a slower class car. Okay, Chip, you're reeling. Torres in. The gap's now 19 seconds. The track temperature's rising, it's now 113 Fahrenheit. <laughs> 
Sector 1 is 1.7 off the pace. My machine needs a reboot enema at this point. Slower class car ahead. The gap to Torres ahead is now 19 seconds. Sector 3 is 1.4 seconds off the pace. Slower car ahead. This guy won't get a blue flag because he's racing us for position. Okay, Chip. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. You're approaching a group of slower cars. Coming up on a slower class car. You're reeling Torres in. The gap is now 18 seconds.
coming up on a slower class car. Blue flag. Okay, Chip, you're reeling. Torres in. The gap is 14 seconds. 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Blue flag. Blue flag. Sector 1 is 2.6 seconds off the pace. It's just doing some quick math to make sure we were okay with the fair share rules to not get DQ'd, and we are. By my count, I did five more laps than we Slower to. class car ahead. I was wondering about that. Yeah, fair share is calculated by taking the number of laps of the race, dividing it by two, and then dividing that by four, so it's a quarter of equal share. And uh, that would be somewhere right around 11 or 12 laps if it goes as far as it's supposed to here. And I did 16 according to my count. Not all of them were actually good laps, but... I don't think they say they had to be good laps, right? They, they did not specify for sure. I'm so angry right now that this has become basically a technical issue for me. It's irritating. Considering the circumstances, you're doing a stellar job for us, so thank you. Happy to do it, man. So Torres in front is now 16 seconds. You're coming up on a slower car. Sector 2 is 1.3, off the pace. You're approaching a group of slower cars. Sector 3 is 2.2, off the pace. Gap to Torres. Ahead is now 16 seconds.
Looks like the P-15 car is trapped behind the P-1 car in the GT class. Alright, Chip. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Yeah, he just got around. I don't think I have time to catch him. Hey, man, it's just, just under five minutes left. You still have time to win this thing. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to really try. <laughs> we, we saved all the good stuff to the last five minutes. It's going to be the most amazing two laps you've ever seen. <laughs> The gap to Torres in front is now 15 seconds. Slower class car ahead. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Sector 3 is 0.6 off the pace.
Slower car ahead. It's their class leader. There'll be no blue flag here because they're on the same lap. Sector one is 2.0 seconds off the pace. <laughs> Blue flag. Nicely handled. White flag, one more to go. I'm in total fuel saving mode. I've only got four tenths of a lap left. I was just noticing that. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Yes, Jim short filled you. Can we do this in practice too? <laughs> we need to slow down, give back some time. And she's sputtering. Oh no. Slower class car ahead. Incident in turn one. It looks like Peterson. Adam Great race drivers. Ends as it be Paul as it began. David Williams. There's the checkered flag. Kurt Polter Shit, day, mate. and Let's Justin Hess. Please report to the interview waiting room. Way to go, man. Way to finish. I wish I would have had one more lap because I caught that GT car that was just going to, it was on the same lap as us. And I wanted to pass him just out of matter of principle and I didn't have enough damn gas. Yeah, well, you can just fault me for having uh, having that as a problem in the first place. So, damn it. Well, no, no worries. It was a learning experience. I mean, that was the whole point of it all anyway, right? Yeah, but I mean, it was just disappointing. And it, it, what, what it was actually really disappointing is that I was like missing things that I don't normally miss. And I couldn't figure out the fact that it was the fact that <laughs> I had a, uh, a lag problem. Uh, and then it became really, really, really apparent. Um, when it like literally I was somewhere other than where I started when it when it blinked on me and then I realized that I had a serious problem so sorry it took me so long to realize that that was what was causing the biggest part of my issues
I mean, I'm still a shitty driver, but uh, but at least I, I, have a, I have a good excuse for, for some of the incidents that happened today. Well, no, I mean, uh, some of the mistakes were very uncharacteristic, so the lag makes all the sense in the world, because you don't need more than a split second to lag and have it throw you off. Yeah, no, it, it was it was actually getting quite brutal there for a while. Even in the replay at the end of the race, watching you is like, it was almost like you were time traveling um, every once in a while. Um, and it wasn't a, a huge amount, but it was just enough that if I was behind the wheel, man, I'd lose like that ability to catch you know, whatever was going on. Anyway, um, phenomenal drive on your part. You did a really nice job, nice and steady. Um, and, uh, definitely, uh, think that, uh, that was pretty, pretty cool. Um, that was fun. I enjoyed it. It, it was eye opening. I mean, the competition's pretty, pretty stout. Yeah, definitely. Very stout. Um, we looks like we had a total of uh, oh crap! Uh, how many incidents? Twenty? No. Twenty nine. Yeah, twenty nine. And uh, I own twenty of those, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, it's something to shoot for every time. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. Uh, so that's uh, that's definitely uh, not good. Um, but uh, yeah, but I don't think you caused them all. I think part of it was your hardware issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I did 16 laps, so I think that that covers us for fair share. And uh, you did 61 um, with a total of nine incident points, so that's pretty phenomenal. Um, given that many laps, that's pretty cool. Um, a lot of drive time, so I know your your butt's probably tired. Uh, probably other parts of you are as well, but uh, I do appreciate it. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did that. Um, all right, man. Well, chalk one up. We gave it a try, and we survived. So, Hey, man, you rolled Long across the line under, well, not under power, but we crossed the line. So <laughs> that's saying something. That's better than it could have been. Yeah, we we actually didn't destroy the car, which I thought was pretty good on this track. This track's gnarly. Yeah, I, I tried, but, you know, did my best to destroy it. We were all trying. <laughs> Cool, man. Well, thanks a lot, and uh, and a good race, man. Appreciate it. All right. Catch you later, man. See yeah. ya. Bye. Bye. So there you have it. Horrible race for me. Um, equipment problem. And, I mean, driver problem, too. I mean, there there was a fair share of bad mistakes made, but uh, I, I did have a lag problem related to the recording, so I'll have to adjust for that next race as we, we kind of jump into that uh uh, may need to stop recording races or re record off the replay after the race, um, but take it out of the equation for the actual race itself until I have dedicated hardware to manage my, my recording. Thanks for joining us, and uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed at least aspects of this. Let's we'll see if we uh, need to cut this down and do some just highlights, um, but uh, quick summation was, as we just said, is uh, um, I had a horrible race. I only did 16 laps. I had a CPU lag problem that created some uh, really, really bad game stutter that made it darn near impossible to properly navigate turning points and you know overtaking other slower cars or being overtaken by faster cars. And it was a matter of me being a liability out there um, that dictated Rob taking back over and, uh, and bringing it home for us. And he just barely brought it home. He actually ran out of fuel just before the finish line, but did cross the line. So we did finish um, under our own power as it were. And um, good job by Rob. He did a, a tremendous race uh, driving lion's share um, and only having eight, nine incident points. He moved us all the way up into, I believe, uh, 12th position before he handed the car over to me. And then we just rolled backwards from there once I got in the car. Um, so lesson learned. Um, and hopefully we can do better at the next, uh, next race, next event. Anyway, thank you.